Hey everyone, so I don't know if you can see this over here, but I basically have got the <laughs> take two. Okay, I basically just wanted to show this McGill merch because as you might have guessed, I'm studying at McGill University. So I have two questions for you. Firstly, are you interested in studying music in the future at a university? Or two, are you interested in seeing what McGill Shulik School of Music is like? Because if so, then you're going to want to keep watching because this video is going to be a week in the life of a music student at McGill. I'm an undergrad studying piano performance and composition as a double major. So there's going to be quite a few events here that are going to be specific to those two areas. But I'm also, of course, going to talk about music in general for all students. So firstly, let's go to a place where lots of students spend most of their time in the practice room. Let's go. Okay, so over here, you can see a bulletin board filled with events that are happening, and this is the piano section. Here are some concerts that are going on. Oh, and just a quick pause. If you want to perform, there are always opportunities to do so. For example, I signed up for <laughs> so many concerts this semester, including October 25th, 26th, November 9th, 23rd, 25th, December 1st, and also a bunch more that aren't included on this list. For example, the 23rd, aka today, where I'm going to be playing the three list Petrarch sonnets. Yeah, so there are three types of concerts. There is class concerts, student soloists, and piano Tuesdays. For class concerts, you play with the students in your studio who are studying under the same professor. For student soloists, it's anyone, and for piano Tuesdays, you perform in front of the professors who give you comments. So that one's really good. Also, for third floor, it's for singers. For fourth floor, it's for instrumentalists. And for fifth floor, which is where I'm going, it's for pianists only. Right when I say that, I think I hear a clarinet playing up here. Yeah, so there's a section over there where you can grab cleaning supplies. And so you're supposed to wipe down the piano before you start playing. So just... And yeah, now it's time to do some practicing. So the current time is 1.28, which is a slight problem because I have a dress rehearsal at 1.40 and I don't have my uniform. So I need to hurry back right now to get my dress shirt and then rush all the way back to the hall. Oh boy. Okay, I should have everything. I think dress shirt, pants, and shoes. It's actually pretty important, at least to me, to practice with the shoes you're going to perform with because it's going to affect how the pedal feels like. Okay, back from dress rehearsal. The time currently is 2.43 and the concert is at 4, so I have a bit more than an hour. So I'm in a practice room right now, just practicing. Actually, I think the... The practice room next door is playing one of the pieces I'm doing. Hold up. I don't know if my phone can pick up the sound, but yeah, someone's playing the list 104 sonnet, which is what I'm going to be playing right next door in the practice room over there. And the thing is, with Music University, you're probably not going to be the best. There's going to be tons of people who are just way better at you. And if you play a piece and then someone next to you might just play it 10 times better. So yeah, it's it's really good motivation, I would say. All right, it's time to head to the concert hall now. 
I don't know. In initially, I felt pretty nervous whenever I wanted to perform. I'm still a bit nervous, of course, but it definitely has lessons because I keep doing more and more performances, so that's a good thing. Hey, the concert program's at the door. Okay, I take back what I said earlier. I'm feeling a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> This is pre-concert vibes, pre-Marina yeah. class concert. Yeah, Marina, Marina's a teacher and we just got the 360 shot. <laughs> Owen's got the microphone set up, <laughs> the, so the computer. Yo, play something really, really loud. You sure? Yeah, just do it. Uh -huh. 